blockchain industry is another industry. Yeah. You know, the government, they don't mm -hmm. recognize blockchain is a, a block industry at all. So they can think it's a, a combination of the Bitcoin and the exchange and the, all the all kinds of the, 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 the bad things. But since uh, October and 24th, the blockchain now is uh, the, the total country. So we begin under the pressure of our President Xi to start uh, totally revolutionized, totally block go blockchain. But the problem is that in China, the blockchain is different from, uh, is totally disconnected from the digital assets or, or Bitcoin or the so related things. So it's, uh, in China, you can only do the blockchain application. You cannot issue coins. You cannot do SEO. You cannot do, do anything. So uh, in China, it becomes that if you want to get rich, you want to earn a lot of money, so you are uh, prepared to uh, go to jail uh, at any time. Uh, and you, but you can get a lot of money because so China is a lot of investors. <laughs> so you can you can uh, you can uh, invest the money to study the, the software to, to hire the developer and uh, to um, have some tech. But you do not have application. You know, nowhere for you to use your technology. Nowhere for you. Uh, so you, you you know there is some a lot of public chain uh, in the in the world. They are studied by Chinese people, but they cannot use it in China. You know, so it's totally forbidden. You know. So another side is that for China's blockchain company, they are very poor. <laughs> Compared with their, their uh, the, 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 the rich guy, so they do not have money, so they can only do the technology service for the big companies. So the problem of the China blockchain company is how to face the large uh, group like the Alibaba, uh, like the, 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 the Tencent. How can you survive uh, in this? Uh, under the pressure of those people. But do you think it was going to happen like in the United States? Because I don't think there's a lot of rich blockchain company in the United States. Either, you know? uh, I, I think the problem is that, right? That uh, th this is being is still being controlled by the big platforms. So yeah. maybe WeChat will come up with a blockchain decentralized model for payments. I mean, uh, maybe that comes from there. You know, I, I don't think it's going to be very difficult to disrupt in the same way it's yeah. so difficult to disrupt yeah. uh, Facebook because Facebook is an identity platform. Yeah. And once you got uh, three billion identities, how do you fight against that, right? Yeah. So maybe the same in China, no? Yeah, so the only way uh, for uh, China's blockchain startup to grow up, to grow big enough, is that you find a way that you totally disrupt yeah. the business model of the Ali or the business model of Tencent. Yeah. Otherwise, you will have no chance because they control all the data, all the capital, yeah. and all the intelligent people. So you cannot compete with them on that, on big tech for that. But you have to have an even deeper tech than them, <laughs> so you can survive. But can, can you tokenize in China? I mean, for instance, your company, you, you are dealing yeah. with identity. Yeah. So let's say that I establish an identity relation with you, yeah. and somebody wants to know who I am, my consent has a value, can I tokenize that consent? That, that you can make money by tokenizing, right? <laughs> okay, so it's a, in China, it's a, a depend, you know. Before the October and 24th, this is totally illegal. But uh, after that time, it's uh, maybe, maybe we can discuss about it. But you need to have a lot of people. <laughs> maybe you can help. <laughs> yeah, so you, you need to find uh, some. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the problem of that China. We, we do not have a sandbox, a real sandbox for the, those uh, new technology. So you have to, to, to try. To, to if you uh, have a, a stake, it's a mistake, then you go to jail. <laughs> so it's, a, it's a still that, that kind of thing. But I think it's a, it will get a better and better that you have, uh, you can, uh, uh, Mr. Xi, uh, he uh, publicly announced that the uh, digital asset and the digital asset. Who convinced him to make that announcement? Who, what was the building, mental building process for him to take that announcement? What happened before? Do you know? Oh, I think it's a Libra. You know, it's Libra. It's right? still yeah. Libra. So, so you know, it's so Libra. The, uh, fighting yeah. with the U.S. and, and then we uh, get to know what his blockchain really can do, can do. It's not yeah. only only for the for the for the ICO. So it, yeah. has, it has a lot of impact in the future. That's what we are creating with one way here, the uh, the trust triangle, because like that we can bring Libra one, yeah, everybody yeah. in Geneva, you know, and you guys can work together. That's the idea, right? Yeah. I think it's interoperability at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Anita, you, you are a data scientist, so data 